Welcome back to my channel, the number one place to find Archfiend related jewels, reviews and combos. But today, here we go, we have the Mega Tin 2020, the August edition. So I'm quite excited to open this. Now, obviously, it has Red Eyes Dark Dragoon in it and people are like, oh yeah, you know, are we going to be able to pull this? We're not going to get it, right? It's very unlikely. So we've got two to open. There's a couple of cards that I want from this set. One of them is Cherubini. I don't... It would be nice to pull Dragoon, but it's just unlikely. I quite like the tin. It's pretty cool. I think it's called the Lost Memories tin. Some people think, well, maybe those memories should stay last, you know, because everyone's hating on Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. But yeah, so it comes with three packs. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with the promo as well. It's a bit unfortunate. But the packs themselves, right, they have like 18 cards in them. And Dragoon is actually an ultra rare, right? So there is hope. But some of the secret rares, obviously, it's, it's unlikely that we're going to be able to pull one of those. So let's go for the middle one first. Put these ones to the side. So yeah, I quite like that it's got 18 cards in it. I guess it kind of justifies the cost, considering you only get three packs. And you're obviously guaranteed to get a certain amount of certain shinies and all that. So yeah. Why don't you take a, take a bet on which cards we're going to pull. If we do get Dragoon, That'd be cool because we have a summon skull deck that we made that uses Dragoon. If you're interested in that, I'll just put the link in the description below. Feel free to take a look. But first card of the pack, so we've got Mordschlag. So that is an equip spell. And we've got Heater the Fire Charmer. We have Salaman Great Violet Chimera. You're in danger, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've got a couple of danger cards. We got them from the good old Battles of Legends unboxing. So that's pretty cool. Dino Wrestler, Destiny Hero Draw Hand. So I always prefer Destiny Heroes to the actual heroes, right? The elemental heroes. So it's cool to pull some of those. And our first super rare. Whoa. Beat Raptor, good old dinosaur monsters. We have Rogue of Endymion, the card art of which is awesome. And then we have Destined Rivals. So that's our first ultra rare. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the first, I believe, of the promo cards. So that's nice. So if you control a Blue Eyes White Dragon or a Dark Magician, you get to negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls until the end of the turn. And you can only activate one Destined Rivals per turn. So it's quite nice that we pulled one of these already. Pretty decent. And I wonder if we'll pull any of the other promos. <laughs> who, can, who knows? We have no material. So I haven't heard of this card. Let's have a look. If your opponent special summons a monster while you control no cards, discard it target a face-up monster your opponent controls, they can't be tributed uh, or used as a material for any sort of like extra deck play. Pretty good. Yeah, that's a pretty nice card. And it's an Earth Fairy. <laughs> and nice, so in our Secret Rare, we've got Gallant Granite. That's a nice card. But it's a Prism... That, yeah, I think it's Prismatic Secret Rare. It's used quite a lot in Ad Emancipators now. So I think it's a fairly old card, so being able to use it in this day and age is quite nice. And then we have, just as a rare, we've got Crusadia Testament. That's pretty cool. We have Monk of the Tenyi. BES Blaster Cannon Core. Not bad. Vessel for the Dragon Cycle. Not bad. We have Draw Discharge. Uh, Marincess Snow. Jelly Cannon. And that's it. So it's quite nice that we've got one of the promos already. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, because I think they said that because they're not dishing out the promo, they've bundled it into this loot box. Sorry. Bundled it into this booster pack. So you have our chance of getting one of the promo cards, which isn't great, but you know, it is what it is. Now we're on to pack number two. Don't forget, we've got another box to get through as well. So, you know, there's hope of pulling something that we need. Here we go. Guard Dragon Cataclysm. Kidoki. We have Valkyrie Chariot. When I realized they released Golden Castle of Stromberg, I thought, are you kidding me? Yeah, so it's quite cool that the Valkyrie cards exist. Tenny Spirit. We have Tyrant Dino Fusion. Guard Dragon Core Awakening. Not bad. World Legacy Guard Dragon Mardark. Cool. Yeah, that's a nice looking card. And then our first super rare of this pack is Wailing of the Unchained Souls. Unchained cards. 
are nice for obviously unchained decks, but they also have synergy with Archfiends, would you believe it or not? So because they all base their effects around destruction, Archfiends get their effects as well, so it's not too bad. And I'll just put that one there, and then we have Evil Eye at Repose. And then our first ultra rare is Star Liege Seifert, or Seifert. So uh, it's a dragon, level 4. And you can send any number of dragons from your hand or field to the grave. Add a dragon from your deck to your hand, whose level equals the total original levels of those that were sent. And you can banish this card, target a level 8 light or dark dragon in the grave, and add it to your hand. So, yeah, just straight up dragon support. Pretty decent. And then we... <laughs> We have another promo card, ladies and gentlemen, but it is Destined Rivals once again. So, uh, I mean, it's still pretty cool. It's a really strong card being able to negate effects. So, you know, I'm, I can't really complain, but that is our first dupe of the day. And our secret rare is, or well, prismatic secret rare is Guard Dragon LP. Cool card, put that there. And then our rare, we've got Danger Excitement Mystery. Cool, got Unchained Twin, so that's good. Synergy for Archfiends, got some good support there. Marin says Mandarin, Marin says Wonderheart, Witchcrafter Draping. <sighs> Witchcrafters are very good. I don't like facing off against them. Abominable, so we've got Marin says Crown Tail as well. And then we have Abominable Chamber of the Unchained, which is once again good support for Archfiends. <laughs> right, now we're on our last pack of this particular box, so we've still got three more packs to get through. Take your bets. The odds are decreasing as we open these packs on pulling good old Dragon. But you know, like I say, it's not really on my radar. It's, it's very doubtful that we'll pull it. But if we can get Cherubini, that would be nice. So let's see what we're going to get. Valkyrie Funft. We have Subterra Succession. Salamangre Wolvi. Cool. We have Salamangrate, Sunlight Wolf, pretty good card. Dino Wrestler, Eskri Mamenchi. <laughs> Alrighty. Time Thief, Bezel Ship. And our first super rare is Bye Bye Damage. It is a trap, and during damage calculation, if a monster is attacked, your battling monster cannot be destroyed by that battle. Also, if you take battle damage from that battle, your opponent takes effect damage equal to double that amount. So it's kind of like a magic cylinder, but on steroids, right? And then we have a Nightmare Incarnation Idli. That's pretty cool. Wow. That card art is amazing. So it's a fairy, and level 9 monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. It's a dark fairy as well. Uh, you're going to use each of the following effects of this card once per turn. If the total link rating of monsters on the field is 8 or more, quick effect, you special summon this card from your hand. So that's on the field in general, so that's quite good if your opponent's doing heavy link plays. But then if this card is special summoned while your opponent controls more link monsters than you do, send all link monsters on the field to the grave. Yeah, that's a pretty powerful card. That's nice. Yeah, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. I'm happy with that. All right, and then we have for our Ultra Rare Strength in Unity. So this is another promo of the pack. So that's quite nice that we've got a different one. So this is a continuous spell and it's got Master of Dragon Soldier just chilling there. And it, uh, if you ritual or fusion summon using Blue Eyes White Dragon or Dark Magician, you can target one card your opponent controls or in their grave and then just banish it. Then you can send this face up card from the field to the grave, target a level seven or higher normal monster in your grave add it to the hand or shuffle it into the deck and you're going to use each effect of this card once per turn. I thought to myself when I first saw the trailer for this Megaton I was like hmm how can I how can I exploit Archfiends with this? <laughs> uh, use this for like a level 7 or higher normal but the only fiend normal is Zoa which isn't isn't what I'm looking for unfortunately. So we'll just put this here and then our other Ultra is Win the Wind Charmer Verdant. So that's a pretty cool link monster as well uh, if you play the Charmer cards. And then here we go Secret Rare, Prismatic Secret Rare. We've got Witchcrafter Hain or Hein or Heine. Uh, your opponent cannot target other spellcasters that you control with card effects. And then Quick Effect, you can discard a spell and target one face up card your opponent controls and destroy it. You can only use this effect of 
this card once per turn. Yeah, it looks nice. 2400 attack, 1000 defense, but you know, it is what it is. Great. And then, we just put that one there, we have a Empress of the Evil Eye. Right, put that one there, and then we have Marinces Current, and then we have Ranryu, Evil Eye Confrontation, that's quite a cool looking card, Infinitrack Crab Crane, and Marinces Wonderheart and Salamangre Transcendence. Cool. So to be honest, even with that one pack, I'm pretty happy. Got some nice cards. That Nightmare Incarnation card is really cool. So I'll just move these out the way a little bit. And then we'll get into the second box of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Then watch, we just get exactly the same cards. Uh, all three times. Right. Here we go. We found it. The lost memories of Egypt. Here we go. Oof. If I can get this card out. Come on. A few moments later. Alright, may as well open this one first. Do you reckon we'll get any more of those promo cards? Do you reckon we'll get the same or do we get the third version? The third promo? Right, so World Chalice Guard Dragon Al Almaduke. Uh, all right, so moving on, Pegasus Wing. Cool, so Valkyrie Union type support. We have another Morge Slug, interesting. We have Heat of the Fire Charmer Ablaze. Am I getting flashbacks here? Are we gonna get exactly the same cards as before? Uh, you're in danger, oh no. <laughs> and then Dino Wrestler, oh dear. Burload X Charge Dragon. So this is our first super rare of this box. These two level four dark dragon monsters. And it's a yeah, a pretty interesting card. Burload Savage Dragon, I believe, is in this set. Same with Abominations Prison. Alright, so we'll just put this here. And we have Mermail Abyssalassia as another super rare. So that's quite interesting. And then we have for our ultra rare, Gladiator Beast Domitianus. There you go. Looks amazing. I'm glad that we got all this new support for old archetypes. Gladiator Beasts was really cool back in the day, being able to summon themselves after the just battling. It was an interesting effect. Right, now what are we going to get next? Whoop. Valkyrie Seshed. So another Valkyrie monster. Quite cool. What are we going to get? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Pot of Extravagance. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, there you go. So, if you didn't know, this card is very expensive from the other pack so I'm very happy that we managed to pull this uh, it's so good to have this reprinted and if you didn't know what it does so it's basically pot of greed right so you during the beginning of your main phase one you banish three to six monsters from your extra deck and then you draw one for every three that you banished so you just banish six you draw two and you can only activate one per turn so it's quite good in decks that don't really rely on the extra deck Archfiends being one such deck, so, you know, I just upgraded the uh, in real life deck that I use, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. And then for the rare, we've got Final Light, which I believe is another Valkyrie card, yes. Re the return to the normal. And then we have Witchcrafter Draping, we have Desert Locusts, I've never seen that card before, but, you know, looks interesting. Dino Wrestler, Martial Ampelo, there you go. Marinza Sea Angel, and then we have another Monk of the Tenyi. So, not bad, not bad at all. Really happy about Pot of Extravagance. And that was our first pack, right? Yeah, so we've still got two more remaining. Ooh, uh, let's go for this one next. What could we get today, ladies and gentlemen? Right, here we go. Salaman Great Recur uh, Recurrence, right? Cool. Guard Dragon Garmides. Garmides. Sure. Dino Wrestler Rambrachio. Alrighty. We have Pegasus Wing. Guard Dragon Shield. Time Thief Hack. That's quite a cool looking card. And then we have Test Panther as our first super rare. So this is a Gladiator Beast monster. Uh, so it's, like I say, it's nice to get all these new cards to help out old archetypes and try and make them relevant. 
uh, it's always welcome. So when it's Link Summoned, add a Gladiator Beast from the deck to the hand. Great. Target a Gladiator Beast you control, shuffle it into the deck, and special summon a Gladiator Beast with a different original name from the deck. So it's basically kickstarting the Gladiator Beast, beast engine without having to attack. So happy days. Then we have Unchained Soul of Disaster in Super Rare. So the, I think the original was uh, Secret Rare. I don't know what this character does. So you know you can special summon it through usual Unchained means by being destroyed by card effects, and it can link itself off with one of your opponent's monsters during your turn. So you know it's perfect for getting around destruction protection, for example. And then, here we go, we have Out Trigger Extension. So this is a spell card, it's a continuous spell. And you cannot target machine exceed monsters you control with card effects. So your opponent can't, sorry. And then once per turn, you can target an Affinitrack exceed monster you control, special summon from the extra deck. Uh, a machine monster that's two ranks higher and then using that target as a material. You can't special summon for the rest of the turn except Earth Machines and even if it leaves the field and it's treated as an XYZ summon, and you transfer the materials. So, yep, cool, machine type support. And then we also have Successor Soul. So this is the third of the promo cards. So we have one of all three, not bad. So it's a quick play, and if you tribute an effect monster, target an effect monster your opponent controls, send it to the grave, then special summon a level seven or higher normal monster from your hand or deck. You can only activate one successor soul per turn and you can only attack with one monster during the turn you activate this card. Everyone's like, oh yeah, blue eye support and uh, red eye support and all this and that. But now I'm thinking black skull dragon support, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're gonna bring it back. Right, and now let's see what we get for our secret rare. Trickstar Koro Bane. Looks nice. It's uh, a Trickstar monster, so they have nice effects. There's a card which basically is card destruction, but you banish your opponent's hand instead, so that's quite powerful, depending obviously on the deck. If you're against Metaphys, you're not going to have a good day. But uh, yeah, nice. And for our rare, we have Emperor Maju Gazet. So we have Nebula Dragon for the common, and then we have Berserker of the Tenyi. Gladiator Beast Atorix which looks a bit like Lady Panther, if you remember that card. Unchained twin Twins Rakia, so that's good for good old Unchained support. And Basilius, familiar of the Evil Eye and the Marincess Mandarin. So we've got some good uh, Unchained support, which is nice for my Archfiend deck that I'm currently building because it uses that small engine. And now we have the last pack, ladies and gentlemen. Can we pull something that isn't a dupe? So like I say, I'm not really looking for Dragoon or Dragoon, we're just looking for something new. So here we go. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bet in your comment section on how lucky I'm going to be today. Here we go. You can feel the tension in the room. Dark Factory more production. Nice. Fiend support lets you draw cards. Send cards from your hand or field, draw one. I'm happy with that. Valkyrie Chariot, nice Valkyrie support card. Then we have Chaos Betrayer, that looks awesome. Dino Wrestler Chimera T Rexel, it looks really cool. Excellent. Salaman Great Fennec, I believe that was one of the staple Salaman Great cards when it was used fairly regularly before. And now we have Dino Wrestler Terra Parkourio, Parkourio probably, yeah. And then our first super rare of this final pack is Evil Light Mesmerism. When your opponent special summons a monster, activate this card, target one of those summoned monsters in attack position with less attack than an Evil Light monster you control, which is not hard to do once you get the ball rolling with Senrine. Or Serene, sorry. Um, when that monster leaves the field, destroy this card. So you get to take control of it uh, once when you activate this card, so that's cool. Alrighty. We're getting towards the danger zone now. <laughs> Do we want to go beyond this point to the point of no return? So we've got FA Shining Star GT. There you have it. As our last super rare of this tin. Alrighty. Ultra rares. Here we go. We have Star Liege Seifert, which is a dupe, but it's still a nice card. I'm still thinking of splashing it in good old Black Skull Dragon Turbo. <laughs> Alright, and our second. Ultra rare 
Boom, Destined Rivals. Okay, so we've got three of this, which is a bit of a letdown, to be honest. It's nice that it's the promo card, but I mean, come on. Seriously? Three of the same? Alright. Prismatic Secret Rare, here we go. Unchained Abomination, cool. Uh, awesome looking card, awesome looking name. It's a really cool boss monster. So you get to destroy cards when uh, something else is destroyed by a card effect, right? Uh, and also if a monster is destroyed by battle, you can target a card and destroy it. And during the end phase, you can also target a card and destroy it. So it just goes around destroying everything. And it's got 3000 attack. And it's even though it's a Link 4, easy to get out with Soul of Rage and uh, Unchained Soul of Disaster. So there you have it. Alrighty, and then we have Spirit Sculptor looks um, interesting to say the least. Sure. Gladiator Beast's comeback. Boom. And then we have Catoblifers, Familiar of the Evil Eye, Dino Wrestler, Valionix. And then we have Escape of the Unchained, which is a good Unchained card. Ranryu and Gladiator Beast United. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it hasn't been a complete disaster, to be honest. We've got some very nice Prismatic Secret Res. We just bring these back onto the field, move these booster boxes out of the way. So we've got Abomination, we've got Trickstar, Corobane, we've got Pot of Extravagance, which is a fantastic pull, and I just need to do more of it. Uh, Gallant Granite, pretty decent, Witchcrafter, Guard Dragon, so quite a nice selection of Prismatics there. Our Ultra Rares, you know, we've got Destin Rivals times three, Starlight Siege, Successor Soul, so it's quite nice that we've got all three of the promo cards, you know, can't really complain about that. Valkyrie, Gladiator Beast, Win the Wind Charmer, you know, Strength and Unity, Distant Rivals, No Material, that's also quite a decent card as well. And then our Super Rares were okay. Uh, we've got Soul of Disaster, which was nice. We've got X Charge Dragon. We've got this Nightmare Incarnation card, which looks awesome. We've got good old Magic Cylinder, Wailing, Oak of Endymion. Yeah, so all around, it's, it's been pretty decent. Quite happy with that. So, there you have it. There's the unboxing of the Lost Memories tin, the Mega Tin 2020. I hope you enjoyed. So if you're interested in this kind of thing, we also did a Battles of Legend unboxing video, so you can find that in the description as well. And if you're interested in Archfiend related Jaws reviews videos, that sort of stuff, then feel free to have a browse. And until next time, I'll see you around.